my Taurus seeker. Je m'appelle Morgan, je suis un bête sauvage. Welcome to the existential shift. My name is Morgan and I'm a wild beast because I am a Taurus. And so are you, Taurus. You are a wild beast and don't let anyone ever make you forget. Tarot deck, dragon tarot, because you're a dragon. Just because you purr when someone pets you doesn't mean you won't blow fire if they try to stab you. I wouldn't even call you a tiger. You know, the kitty versus tiger thing. Because that will leave you in the kingdom of the cats. But no, you also have wings and fire. If someone forgets who and what you are, Taurus, you have a go to remind them. For me, anyway. How is it that you have so much energy, so much power, so much wisdom, so much depth, so much strength, so much honor, and yet people tend to look at it as if it's permission to play? Oh, look at this cute pet. Oh, look at this cute little dragon. Why don't I roll it around in dirt for a little bit? See how it plays back? You don't play back. You play back for a little bit as long as you're having fun, but once you feel like something is really playing you to kind of taunt you, pick on you, poke you, mm -mm. it was allowed for a good few months because you were going through some question marks back and forth. Who am I? What am I? Where am I? So you're open-minded and open-hearted and you've allowed people and opportunities to show you what they got. What did they show you, Taurus? Not what they told you. What did they show you? What did they show you? You have your instincts. You have your hunches. You have your instincts, you have your hunches. I have it here in the reverse. Too many cards. Not using it. Not using it. Too many cards and we want focus. We want focus. We want accuracy. There's too much energy within us. There's too much power within us. We need to sustain it. And generate something great out of it. And not let it, you know spread out in different directions. You, you can't spread yourself thin, Taurus. You don't have room for that. Better to go and stay in a cave for a little bit and not just force yourself into situations that are just stretching your limits, poking your boundaries. You have boundaries for a reason. You put up boundaries because you don't want people to get hurt with all your energy and all your fire. You know who you are, you know what you need, you express it, and if your environment does not respect it, fly elsewhere, dragon. King of Pentacles. Earth, very strong earth, very powerful earth. Thinking about our finances. Saving up, being smart, being accurate, working hard. Appreciate what we work hard for. The King of Pentacles tends to do something that I'm doing at this very minute. He tends to focus on his work and what he needs to do and ignores the back noises. Right now, as I was saying it, until now, from the beginning of this video, one of my neighbors uh, playing the guitar loudly and sing horribly. Sing horribly. And I was annoyed by it. But I kept through this video. This is what I needed to do, right? 
But the second I decided no more, I'm annoyed by this. I acknowledge how I feel. I acknowledge the fire stirring in me. It stopped. The universe is poking you and it uses people and situations to poke you because it wants to see you. It wants you to let out, to express yourself, to be, to feel, to be happy and loving and cheerful and purring, to be angry and expressive and put people in their place when they need to be put in their place, when they constantly, constantly, constantly try to break your boundaries and disrespect your space. Very disrespectful something. It's a very disrespectful thing to do to someone. Not respect their boundaries and push into their space when someone is clearly setting up clear boundaries. Nothing worse than that, right, Taurus? And you're so open-hearted and so caring and so giving. You don't want to see people get hurt, but then at one point you're like, I'm sorry, but I can't get hurt because of you. When I'm in pain, I use my fire to burn myself through the pain, to get to the bones of my pain, to burn through the flesh, to get to the bone of it, to poke through the DNA of myself with tweezers, with scissors, in myself, in my own pain to address it, to process it, to acknowledge and therefore heal it. I don't puke it on others, most especially if they're very clear with their boundaries. So if I can do that, you can't do that for me. King of Pentacles is very clear with his space and his boundaries. This is my goal. This is my purpose. This is me. You respect me? You want to be a part of this? Good. Join the ride. We can fly to so many horizons together. I'm a dragon. Oh, I can take you places you would not even imagine. In your head, in your heart, in your spirit. Your inspiration will go to places that you, you never imagined. But if you try to tie my wings, scrap my uh, shield, my dandruffs, whatever it is the dragons have, and use it for your own medicine on my expense? Je m'appelle Morgan, je suis une tête sauvage. Let's keep going. King of Pentacles. If you're a newcomer to my channel, I'm sorry you're having such a dramatic start. I I swear to God, I'm, I'm also a very sweet, sweet kitty. Sometimes I'm a dragon. Sometimes I'm a kitty. <laughs> Promise you I'm not crazy. Let's keep going. King of Pentacles. Yeah, also me being a Taurus with the Libra moon, heart, very ruled by Venus. Harmony and synchronicity um, are a big deal for me. If I hear a melody that is so off tune and so off beat, I can roar on the inside. Maybe that's what inspires me to be so dragon oriented in this reading. So maybe I should be grateful for that horrible singer singing outside. Can't wait for Venus to retrograde in Scorpio. Oh, it's going to be a party with me. <laughs> I'm going to feel. I'm going to let the feels. Taurus, let the feels. Okay, good. After King of Pentacles, we have the Devil and Page of Wands. Yeah. Capricorn is very strong in this reading. And there's also Fire. Page of Wands could be a Sagittarius, but it can also be a... Aries or a Leo. But let's address their characteristics, please. Someone is really trying to keep pulling you and luring you back into their world. This is the mask. This is the truth. Mask, page of wands. Fun, exciting, adventurous, open-hearted, open-minded. Addictions, weakness, fears, 
anxieties, inability to handle, emotional imbalance. And if this is a part of it and it's masked with, I don't know, alleged stability, oh, I mean, look at this. On the two sides of the devil, I have an extreme stable uh, expression of the human condition. Very grounded, very goal-oriented, very rooted person of action and results. And here, something the opposite, very... Um, young vibrant energetic all over the place a little bit adventurous and those are two sides of the coin and in the middle the devil so this could be a great combination if i had the hierophant in between them meaning it's balanced it's truthful it's real but if i have the devil in between them it's imbalanced it's deceitful it's not real i caramba taurus A lot, some, either you or someone around you with a lot of desires and needs and goals and they want what they want, the way they want it, when they want it. Six of Pentacles, yeah. You're lucky, Taurus. You're lucky because you're Earth and Mother Earth is with you. So opportunity to reach that place, that stage of feeling belong is going to come. If I separate the Page of Wands from the Devil here and just look at them together, this is a very lucky combination. This is a great opportunity. Maybe a project, um, a chance winning, someone offering you something really great that can really change your luck. Let's hold on and see. I want to make sure that the Six of Pentacles isn't connected to the Devil, aka the Seafall. I want to make sure it's real. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. It looks great. I like Six of Pentacles. Sometimes it can also show lack of imbalance. Someone giving more than they are receiving. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So I have here a divine couple. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. But in between, look at what I have. I need you to see this. It's very interesting. I want to show you. So King of Pentacles looking towards the Queen of Pentacles, looking towards each other, right? Facing each other. In between, we have the Devil, Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles. A certain journey, lesson, situation needs to be gone through in order to get from here to here. This person wants to get to this person. What is the journey that they need to take? some kind of monster or a beast that they need to defeat, some kind of a journey that they need to take, some kind of an opportunity that they either need to offer or receive quick or take quickly. Let's see further into this. Mm. Strong earth here. A lot of earth. This is you, Taurus. Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Death. Okay, a lot of people are involved. A lot of people are going to come in and out of your life in the next month with different opportunities, different offers, some good, some bad. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> and the Death card. Okay, I have three queens on the table. I like this. Because this is great unity between three very master-like Wiccan. Wiccan. Witches. Witch is an ancient... is derived from the world uh from the word ancient word witcha which means wise there is wisdom in here of the elements of the earth of the air 
of the fire. There's good cooperation, good communication. There is help. There is unity. And what is interesting is this queen here, you know, she's allegedly facing all this, but it's hard to see because it's so subtle, but she's gazing, right? She's facing in this direction, but if you can see her gaze, she's gazing in the other direction. So it's like, okay, it's all facing here to this drama with this story. She's gazing over here. Some of you, and this is not going to resonate with everybody, okay? It's one option. Some of you are starting to be like, why am I putting all this effort on partnership, on romance? I have such great opportunities to work with different people, creative people, um, doing things for myself, empowering myself, focusing on myself and on my dragons. Of course, there's a dragon in every single one of, for every single one of these queens. This could be all in you, right? Three in one. Let's master my earth element. Let's master my air element. Let's master my fire element. Let's go from dragon to phoenix, right? Let's use all this fire that is roaring within me or that I was burned with by these, I don't know, could be anything in your life. And let's use the opportunity to really expand energetically and grow, grow my knowledge, grow my wisdom, grow my power and be reborn have myself go through a rebirth and leave a certain cycle behind let's keep going almost wanted to come out mm. Five of Swords. Yeah, this is, you know, I feel like this is a month where you're going to have to own your power, but you're also going to have to um, really delegate, delegate where you put your energy, where you don't put your energy, make decisions that aren't necessarily easy, um, maybe have a little bit of conflicts with people. But the energy that I started this reading with, and there's a reason why I tuned into that, into that energy. It wasn't selfish and subjective. I asked for the energy of Taurus and all I felt was wildness. You are wild on the inside and it's like spirit is telling you, show me, express, don't force me to poke you <laughs> and challenge you. I know you're strong. I know you can hold it in. I know you can endure and be the healing, caring, loving Taurus, but you're also an animal of the earth and you're supposed to roam the earth and express your energy and express your powers, and create change and create life. So I have to let you, you, you have to use your power, you have to use your energy. I need you to roar, I need you to soar. I need you to put people in their place. I need you to say things that aren't always nice to hear if it's the truth. I need you to generate change. I need you to own up to yourself without apologizing. There's a promise here. There are illusions here. There is fire here that you're not sure if it's benevolent or burning. When in doubt, go inside to your gut and it knows. Right? Listen to the elements in you. Listen to your body. Listen to your mind. Listen to your instincts. Where do you feel right? Where do you feel itchy? And make the changes that you need to make. Like, seriously, like, like a kamikaze. <laughs> like the powerful animal dragon beast that you are. You're not just a bull, you're an ox. Two 
too many cards, but this one wanted to come out because it's facing up, and it's the Five of Pentacles. So we're going from the Six of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles, but what if we're not going from here to here? What, what, what if this was this in the first place? What if this received the impression of the Six of Pentacles, Six and the Devil of Six, 15? Because it had the illusion of it. It was masked. See, he's holding a pentacle, and here's this Five of Pentacles. So he's like adding the pentacle to this Five of Pentacles, and look at that. It looks so good. It looks like Six of Pentacles, but and you're leaning towards it. But something in you glides over here to a different truth in you. And look at him. He has no masks. It's literally a skeleton. All the masks are falling, and this is the truth that is being revealed. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Kind of spiteful, kind of not so harmonious, kind of lacking, kind of at a loss. Is that what we want? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whomever is watching and is resonating with this. Is that what we want? Okay, so what do we do? What is the advice? What is the advice for Taurus of handling this five of swords, five of pentacles? And we already have a good idea of our extended. Because in the extended, I'm taking the repetitive numbers for the numerological aspect of the reading. So I'll take the two fives, and I'll take the two sixes, and the major arcana. Hopefully we'll have a little more and then we can work with them. Maybe the three queens. We'll see how we play with it. But I take the elements that repeat themselves in the numerological aspect. And that's the first part of the extended. After that, I clean the table. And for the second part of the extended, I do a new shuffle of a Celtic cross. And it's a completely new reading in a different way. This is an intuitive reading. Whatever card falls, falls. Celtic cross is a more um, structured type of reading with times, with advices, etc. Oh, and then we finish up with runes. The message from the Celtic runes. Anyway. What is the guidance and the advice for Taurus for the month of October? Some of you really want to change a cycle or a karmic situation when it comes to your funds. You want to break, you want to break through that wheel. Oh, speaking of dragons, dragons, um, Daenerys Targaryen uh, quote from Game of Thrones, I don't want to stop the wheel, I'm going to break the wheel. <laughs> the Chariot, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Sun, Okay, there's a lot going on here. Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. A lot of energies in this reading, Taurus. Because once you start expressing yourself and being who you are, especially in Venus retrograding now in Scorpio, and you are ruled by Venus, things are going to get deep and real. So there will be highs and there will be lows. There will be situations where you feel like you're soaring and roaring above the clouds, closer to the sun, and your heart is expanding to infinite amount of hope and joy and love and possibilities. And there will be moments where you will have doubts and we'll, you will remember your heartache. And you'll remember all kinds of things from your childhood. And you'll want to go back to being, you know, a good kid. To do what's right. And what makes sense. And what is organized. You know, to be to, to do Virgo. To be good. To be calm. To be a calm state of earth. Maybe truthful, but in a more harmonious way politically correct kind of way that 
really cares about what the other person, you know, how it's going to make them feel, which I totally respect. We have to have that balance. But you're in a place right now, Taurus, that you really need to be yourself. You really need to be yourself. Because even though it will expose pain and discomfort and unclarity and dilemmas and imbalance, it will also expose your journey that you went through, your passions, your heart, what you truly want to do, what you truly believe in, who you really want to be. And it, it, it will really help your awareness kind of tap into yourself. Like your conscious really needs your subconscious to rise above the surface in order for your conscious to kind of take more pieces and then grow, right? Carl Jung said, until we make our subconscious conscious, it will rule our life and we will call it fate. This is you taking control over your fate, over your destiny. Riding, soaring above the clouds, above the premonitions, above the astrology and the tarot and, and the numbers, above your own DNA. Just burn through your DNA with your fire and discover a new you that makes you really, really, really happy and proud. And yes, it will come with feeling sometimes guilty, sometimes confused, sometimes going back and forth, totally natural. But you have to go th walk through the path in order to get to the destination, right? If you want to um, discover pieces of your subconscious and add them to your conscious and create a new understanding of who you are and what you are and what you want to create in this life, then you have to dive into your subconscious, into your own demons. People around you who express alleged demons, they're not bad. This, whoever this is, they're not bad. They're going through their own demons and their own struggles. And they have their own tools that allows them to grow or not grow, to be good or bad. You know, they, they give what they have. This is not about resenting anybody or blaming anybody. This is about how certain things made you feel, what it taught you that you're willing to accept and what it taught you that you're not willing to accept. It pushed you towards discovering different aspects of yourself. And even if it means losing pieces of yourself to transform, even if it means going through a journey of trial and error that is led by the heart and by the passion, and sometimes failing, yes, but little by little, finding the balance, okay? And interesting thing here, I have a family. I have a king, a queen, and a page. A mother, a father, and a child of the element of earth. And the bottom line, Taurus, this is what you really want, right? You want the farm. You want your mother nature around you. You want the people that you love. You want your nest. You're not fighting to fight. You're not burning to burn. You're a warrior for peace. You understand that sometimes peace requires fighting. It's completely um, counterintuitive and it sounds weird and ironic, but yeah. Sometimes for peace, you have to fight those entities that keep stirring shit up because that's the language that they understand. And then once they are out of the, out of the situation, then you can rebuild harmonious um harmonious situations, connections. Me urging you to blow steam and be fire and be you and go do you and express your anger, this is not me uh, pointing fingers and blaming and being mad at individuals in your life that has caused a certain mayhem in your life potentially or just didn't follow through, or just whatever, whoever hurt you in whatever manner. They have their own journey, and they have their own tarot scope for me. 
And in that telescope, I love them and I acknowledge their pain and I acknowledge their, um, their abilities and I encourage them to roar their own fire, but in a benevolent way. Here, I'm encouraging you to roar your fire by acknowledging that certain situations, certain people has made you feel in a certain way and it wasn't right. And the reasons don't matter in your eyes and in your life. Because in your eyes and in your life, you need to fix you. And anything that doesn't support that can't be around you. This also reminded me a little bit of the story of, um, I forget the name of the character from the Greek mythology who, who, um, who had wings built for them. So Daedalus, I think it was either Daedalus' son or nephew or something, um, someone around that story. They built wings and they flew too close to the sun and they got burned. Except that here, what I have is the Ace of Cups and the Chariot. So I don't think you'll get burned. I think the risk that you might take will just help you discover yourself. And also, how can fire be burned by fire? If you're a dragon, <laughs> you'll get along with the sun. And yes, there will be mundane moments where you'll just need to be practical and responsible and do small mundane things to create your life, to create your next few months, whatever. It won't be necessarily fun and it might be a little bit confusing and it will cause dilemmas, but you, you got this, you can be diligent. But the main theme is, of this reading is to really discover your emotions, your, your instincts, your visions, your just Rearrange your DNA, Taurus. Anything else I need to tell Taurus before I show them the extended and before we have messages from the Akashic Tarot, the Akashic Records. Oh my God, this is just divine. These oracles, I love them. I love them. I really, I really enjoy working with them. Um... So yeah, did I tell you that on October 10th, I'm doing a live Q&A? Okay, let's, let's talk for a second and then I'll show you your extended and then I'll give you messages from, from your Akashic Records. October 10th, my first live chat q and A's. you'll get to talk to me and ask questions and I'm super excited to meet you, my seekers, my wild Taurians and beasts and all the animals of the Zodiac. Can't wait to meet you guys and talk to you. Uh, so the exact time i'm not sure yet i will pin it in the comments of all the videos once i decide no um so tune in by the 8th or by the 9th any of the videos will have it in the information in the information box below you'll have a link to your extended right now you'll have a link to tarot masterclass if you want to learn tarot from me um and you'll have information for my private reading special that i do for that i'm doing for october uh, you have my email and all the options so check the magical information box below um what else i really recommend watching your other natal placements for the sun moon rising venus if in case you didn't resonate with this or if you resonated but you want more i also always recommend to go back to the past month's reading say in this case to september or whenever you, you're watching the time and energy of food um if, if it resonates it resonates um going back to the past month's reading and making the connection now that you have the point of view of after effect oh now i want to fix my hair a second ago i wanted to, to be wild now i want to fix my hair it's exactly that going from the the wild beast to the pupil <laughs> who am i who are you will really towards um yeah let october let you know venus and retrograding in scorpio will let you know um yeah going back to your past readings to see what's up from the new point of view of after effect really 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 enlightening um is that it i think that's it okay let's let's see your extended so let's take these major arcanas 
awesome. The Devil, the Chick, the Death card, the Chariot, and the Sun. Ooh. <laughs> Very Halloween <laughs> energy. Um, that's the, the family, of course. Um, I also have a mother and a child here, but I feel like it's too much, so let's just stay focused. We already spoken about the three queens, right? So let's focus on the family aspect because we didn't talk about that. We'll check that. This can bring a completely different narrative, guys, by the way. Um, two fives. We'll put them next to May. That is also a five. A knight. Only one ace. Only one three. Two six. I know we have another six. No time for it, though. One, two, three. No. Okay. All right. This is the first part of your extended Taurus. We'll talk about this. Um, and then I'll do a new shuffle. I'll do a, Celt a Celtic cross. And then a message from the runes. Okay. Great. Now, messages from the Akashic Tarot. If you've been on this journey with me for a while, thank you. I love you, my seeker. This is the 10th month of the year. It's also the 10th month of me doing the existential existential shift. It started in January. And in honor of that, I'm doing the October 10th live chat and Q&A. Uh, and if you're a newcomer, uh, feel free to subscribe and join, join the family. <laughs> Messages for Taurus, clear message and guidance for Taurus for the month of October. Too many cards from the Akashic Records. Yeah, they're so pretty. Message for my Taurians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. From the Akashic Records. There we go. I love this. The Queen of Roses. Mm, so much serenity in this card. Look, if you'll blow your fire, if you own up to your power, And get your royalty. You want to be a queen? Act like a queen. If you want to be a queen, act like a queen. Okay, the queen of roses. Here we go. Not just making it up. <laughs> All right. This card shows a beautiful woman with roses in her hair and all around her. A beautiful scene expands outside, but she is peacefully focusing on the flower in her hand. The Queen of Roses signifies a woman who is loving and supportive, but with a passionate side as well. The Page of Pentacles versus the Queen of Pentacles, uh, or the Page of Pentacles versus the Knight of Wands, or um, the Devil, or the Fire. This is a card of a loving connection. A relationship with someone you know may deepen and become more meaningful, or someone new may appear. Be open to the connection. It may be a romantic one, or it might be that of a, that a friend, family member, or a coworker is going to be helpful and valuable to you in some way. The Queen of Roses can represent you or a woman in your life stepping into the role of wife or mother at this time. And we had three queens. Um, it's a time for loving energy to be voiced, to be voiced, to be roared. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really all into this energy. Um, this card upright sometimes show a happy resolution to a difficulty with family, a friend, or a love relationship. The time for peaceful, loving connection is, connections is at hand. So open your heart to the expression of caring within and around you. 
I want to read you the Akashic Force, just for you guys. Close your eyes and step into the energy of the Queen of Roses. Get to know that caring power and gentle temperament. Feel compassion fill you and notice your desire to bring a loving embrace to yourself and to the world. Yeah. Okay. Great. Taurus, I will see you in a second in your extended reading. I will see you in November. Um, it's going to be Halloween, so happy Halloween. Maybe I'll dress up a little bit for the readings of the end of October. I haven't decided yet. I'll see how the feels go. Um, and I love you guys very, very, very much. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, it's your chance. See you soon.